Hey guys, Credit Shifu here, and yes, it's official. The City Prestige is back. It's going to be opened again to new applicants in January 2019. At some point in January, we haven't got the exact date yet. Um, but yeah, let's rewind and let's talk about this and let's talk about the whole story. There are new benefits coming to the card, which are quite exciting. Um, but yeah, let's start from the beginning. So earlier this year, the City Prestige was closed to new applicants. The City Prestige, if you don't know, it's a premium credit card from Citibank. Uh, its kind of signature benefit is that it offers fortnight free on paid hotel stays. That's why a lot of people got it. And uh, yeah, it was closed to new applicants and basically no one really knew what was going on. There were rumors that it was gonna be canceled, uh, but then those rumors were squashed by City saying it's not gonna be canceled. We do hope to relaunch the card um, later in the year or perhaps next year or whatever, but no one really knew much about it. So yesterday morning, we reported on a story um, from Meiguo Xiong Card Zhenan, which is US credit card guide. The, the site's mainly in Chinese. They do have an English version, but it's not as good. The Chinese one is updated much quicker. And uh, they had a story that a couple of their readers had contacted them saying they spoke to city reps on the phone. And these city representatives said that there were new benefits coming in on the card, including 5X point earning on air travel and dining. Um, we'll get to exactly what the new benefits are a little bit later. Um, but yeah, basically two people told them this. Uh, one person said that these benefits were coming in November. The other person said the reps told them they were coming in January. That's possibly more accurate. Um, but anyway, yeah, so they had a kind of rumor story about it yesterday morning. Um, we reported on that too. And then later in the day, the points guy who obviously just, you know, contacted City, um, he actually had a story on his website saying basically it's official. The city prestige is coming back for new applicants. There are new benefits, etc. And you know, city seem to have released the information officially uh, through his website, through talking to him. So we're going to go through exactly what these uh, new benefits are, and then we'll talk about them, and we'll see if they're any good or not. So first up is 5x point earning per dollar uh, on air tickets and dining. Now, to me, this seems to be competing directly with Amex because obviously the Amex Platinum earns 5x on air tickets and the new revamped Amex Gold earns 4x per dollar uh, on US restaurants. And that's with two cards paying two annual fees. So this is that whole thing rolled into one on one card and it's one point per dollar higher on the restaurants category. It's probably international restaurants as well. I don't know, the Amex one is limited to US. We haven't got that many, that much information about the prestige yet. So anyway, that's what it is. Um, then we have an increased point earning. Um, it's gonna be 3X on cruise lines. Now, to me, this is just sort of like, eh, you know, like I've never taken a cruise. I probably never will. I'm not that interested in it. Um, so, you know, I'm not gonna spend anything in this category. I mean, maybe I might take a cruise when I'm old. I don't know, it sounds boring, to be honest, to be stuck on a boat for like a long time. I prefer to just fly somewhere and then go and have fun. But, um, you know, some people do like cruises, so I guess this would be good for them. But to be honest, I don't think this is gonna be like a major category where you're spending a lot of money in. Uh, you know, a cruise is gonna be like once a year or once every couple of years if, for people that like them. And that's not the majority of people, right? It's, you know, whatever. Anyway, I, I don't think that's really worth it, but whatever. Now, we go on to the next one. So, the travel credit. So the annual travel credit, it's $250. It used to be just an airline credit. It's being changed to a universal travel credit. Um, so basically, it's kind of like Sapphire Reserve style. So I think that's probably City. Seeing how successful the Sapphire Reserve is, seeing people want easy to use, universal credits, and it's a selling point for them. Um, so yeah, $250 universal travel credit. Um, and yeah, I, I think that'll probably work well for them. It'll attract millennials, you know, who are kind of clever and they're like, well, the effective annual fee is only uh, this much once we deduct the travel credit, you know? Anyway, <laughs> it'll be a talking point at dinner parties. Right, now the last benefit that's gonna be added is cell phone protection, which is coming apparently in May 2019, so you're gonna have to wait for that one. Uh, there aren't any details on that yet. Um, I suspect it'll probably be $600 um, because that's what a lot of these other cards are. If it could be $1,000 and protect an iPhone X, that would be amazing. Uh, but, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Now, those were the advantages. Let's now talk about some of the downgrades. So you're losing the 2X category on entertainment. In my opinion, that's actually quite a shame because I think a lot of people would spend more on entertainment than they would on cruise lines, all right? So entertainment, you know, it's concert tickets, Broadway shows, sporting events, like movie theater, I think, like... You could spend a lot of money on that over the course of a year, probably more than you would spend on a cruise. Even if you spent like two or three thousand on a cruise as a one-off 
over the course of a whole year, I'm thinking entertainment would be a bigger category for most people. I don't know, maybe except people who are like really hardcore fans of cruises. Anyway, so, you know, that's going, unfortunately. Um, you only get one cent per point value when you're booking travel directly through City. Now, you used to get a 25% bonus, so points would be worth 1.25 cents, like with the um, uh, Sapphire Preferred. Uh, but you don't get that anymore. And that could be because a lot of people transfer to partners anyway, could be cost cutting on City, I don't know, but yeah, that's going. Um, so points are just valued one cent per point when booking through the portal. I don't really care because I, you know, I much prefer to transfer to partners anyway. Uh, then we have, and this is probably the biggest like, oh my god, um, is that the fourth night free benefit, the signature benefit of this card, is being limited to two times a year. So this is not going to affect most card holders, to be honest. And in the Points Guys article, when he, you know, he talked to some city representatives, they told him that most card members, according to their data, most card members use it only once a year. Um, so the average card member, it's not going to affect, and they could even use it again and get even more value out of it using twice a year. Um, but the kind of power users, serious travel hackers who have this card mainly for this benefit and get thousands and thousands of dollars of value out of it, um, they're going to be disappointed. But, you know, to be honest, that could be seen by the credit card companies as kind of like gaming behavior anyway, like rinsing every last bit of cent of value out of that benefit. Because to be honest, if you stayed in a hotel every week and stayed four, four nights every week, 52 times a year, I mean, if you stayed in a hotel that's $1,000 a month, 52 times a year, you get $52,000 of value out of this benefit. And then you're definitely costing the credit card company a lot of money. They'd have to do something about that. So I guess this is why it's limited to twice a year. So for the average user, not a problem. For the serious travel hacker, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. And now for the last downgrade. Well, I wouldn't really call it a downgrade because you're not losing a benefit or anything, but the annual fee is increasing from 450 up to 495. Um, I personally think that's cool because I think that these premium credit cards should be a little bit prohibitively expensive because you don't want everyone to have them, all right? Otherwise, they won't be prestigious anymore. And it is called the City Prestige, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I don't really care about that, especially when you've got a travel credit, 250, easy to use, that's gonna take out half that annual fee anyway, bring the annual fee down to 245 effectively. Um, and then if you use the fourth night free benefit, um, you know, you could wipe out the rest of that annual fee and then be in profit uh, just from using it once. So it's not really a problem for me. It is obviously you have to pay $500 or almost $500 now up front. So you do have to have that lump sum in your savings account or whatever to pay up front and then you can pay yourself back through using the travel credit or through the value get out of the card. Um, I don't know. I, I, I personally think it's good, actually. I, I think that it's, it's better to have a sort of separation where people who are kind of cheap use the Sapphire Reserve, all right? Because they, they pay 450 up front and then they get $300 back and it's easy to, you know, reimburse themselves, right? And it's only effective on your fee 150. And then you've got people who are more sort of like exclusive who use like Amex Platinum, um, Amex Gold, you know, because these annual fees are harder to reimburse yourself for or not, not impossible though. If you travel a lot, it's easy to get that value back. So it just depends how much people travel and all that kind of stuff, a lot of variable. If you don't travel so much and you want it mainly for earning the points so you can take like one really cool trip a year, I would recommend the Sapphire Reserve. If you are gonna be staying in amazing luxury hotels paid, um, then I'm gonna recommend the City Prestige for that four night, four night free benefit. If you want the best airport lounges, Amex Platinum. And if you want gold status from Hilton and uh, SPG, that's Amex Platinum too. So each card has its own benefits and pros and cons, basically. So like we said, guys, the card will be open for new applications again in January 2019. There will be a sign-up bonus. We don't know what it is yet, but there will be one apparently. Um, so guys, watch this space. Look out for more information coming about the City Prestige. And what do you think about this card? Leave your comments below. Will you get it? Uh, are you thinking about getting it? Do you have it already? And are you pleased about the changes to the point earning structure? I'd love to hear what you think. As always, we'll put some of the links to some of our favorite credit cards from our partners in the description below. Uh, if you're in the market for a new credit card, don't hesitate to have a look. And obviously using our links, it does help out our show. So we do very appreciate it if you do. Thanks very much guys for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah.